Hi everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Today Sangamesh is going to show us how we can set up our account number preferences. We have a default that, that ships with the download, but of course each organization likes to have a little different uh, account numbering scheme and we're going to learn today how to set that up. Of course, I always start with our documentation. This is where you can find your user manual, your tools, your how-to articles, your supporting documents, all kinds of goodies in there. And as I said, today will be account number preferences from the admin screen and then system menu. If you have a question or you want to read up on a topic that you don't see in the documentation, use our answer hub. It's very useful. You can type in your topic, ask your question, and the screen will populate. And if you're still not satisfied with what you're seeing, simply ask the question. Someone from our community will get back to you with an answer. It's very helpful. Now I'd like to turn the control over to Sangamesh while he will walk us through our account number preference setup. Take it away, Sangamesh. I'm on the first login page. Let me log in as super user. Then go to the admin system account number preferences. You could add the preferences from here. Then select the type. The account type can be for client, loan, or savings, or center, or group. So let me uh, select client for this example. You could check the checkbox for add prefix. So let me select as office name has the prefix and click on submit. Now going back to the clients, create a new client let's say Uma G then activate this now if I go back to clients then see here the office name comes up first has a prefix then followed by the uh, client ID number. So this client ID number is auto generated number. In the same way, we could do it for other um, account number references for other entities. So let me uh, sign out and pass it back to Dana. Thank you, Dana. Thanks for so much for that demo. Again, I'd like to remind the viewers, use the Answer Hub. If you have an idea you want to just kind of test out, use our demo server. You can do anything there and you won't hurt a thing, but you can kind of see how the system will re react. If you have not signed up for your user list, please do so. This is where the community, we, we post you know, meeting announcements, different sorts of community announcements, and better yet, you can post and ask opinions and you get replies from a global community. It's, it's really helpful. We have our Gitter IM chat support, of course, our main website and our general mailbox. So thank you so very much and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.